New England clam chowder or clam chowder with bacon, Chef Eric style. Mm. To make a beautiful clam chowder, you will need fresh clams, brunoise of carrots and celery, smoked bacon, paysan of onions, corn, white wine, butter and flour, cumin, fennel, chopped garlic, seasoning, salt and pepper, cream, milk, diced potatoes, and fish stock. First of all, let's start to wash the clams before steaming them. Mix them well and place, strain them in a sieve or a colander. Place the clams into the pot. Add the white wine. Cover with a lid. Turn the heat on on high and let the clams open. Slice the bacon. Cut the bacon into little matchsticks. When the bacon gets wilder, just cut it in half to have something consistent in terms of size. This cut is called lardo. Okay, great. Great. Give it a stir. And they are not all totally open, so let it cook a little bit more. And turn down the heat to medium. In a large pot, melt the butter. Add the bacon. And cook it together for about two to three minutes. Strain the clams. So. They're all open. Great. Mm. And re we want to keep the juices because that will be for our soup, of course. Great. Let's give a stir to the bacon. Great. Add the onions. and the garlic. It's been two minutes that the onions and garlic are cooking. Then add the brunoise, so the celery and the carrots. Mix well. Add the flour and spices. Mix well and then you see that the flour absorbs all the moisture and the butter. Cook that for about a minute, not even, in order to roast the spices and the flour. Then Add the milk, and the fish stock. Wait. Mix well. There we go. And bring the liquid to a boil. We can whisk actually, it would be easier. If your flour stick a little bit on the bottom, 
and make sure with the whisk to pick it up. Add the clam juice slowly and at the end you may see a little bit of sand so we won't use it up. You see? So here I won't use that. Whisk well, turn the heat on high and bring it to a boil. Separate the clams from their shells. So just go through. Then chop the clams. So I got my fish cutting board. There we go. And chop them. Not too fine. Hmm, great. Then reserve the clams into the fridge until further use. Great. The shoulder is boiling. Then add the potatoes that I just drained. Add the corn. Mix well and let simmer for about 20 minutes on medium heat or until the potatoes are cooked. The soup's been simmering for 20 minutes. So let's try to find a potato to check if they're cooked. Get some soup in the same time to taste. Mm. Very nice. The potatoes are cooked, just cooked, perfect. Seasoning in salt and pepper, it's nice. Maybe a, a bit of pepper little bit and add the cream bring the soup to a boil and rectify the seasoning again with maybe a little bit of salt and pepper now the consistency of the chowder here it's a little bit thin if normally a real shoulder it's a little bit thicker than that so we're going to make a blanc we are going to mix some flour and water together and thicken the soup just to make it perfect here i have half cup of flour and about a third of a cup of cold water so we're going to mix it and mix it and add a little bit into the soup. You can grab a little bit of the soup too. Whisk with a bigger whisk now. Make sure there's no lamps. And the soup will get thicker. So because we just put the cream, we have to bring back the soup to a boil before serving it. Add the clams. Mix well. Taste again. Very nice. Add maybe a pinch of pepper. Mm. The soup is boiling. Let's serve it. Chopped a little bit of fresh parsley to garnish. Great and serve the chowder. Mm. Nice consistency. Sprinkle chopped parsley over. 
Et voilà. New England Clam Shorter. Bon appétit. <rire>